Hey everyone, this is Kim with Apostrophe S, and I'm excited to be showing you our Star Spangled Banner. This is aptly named, of course, and I just love how it's chock full of all American things. We've got red, white, and blue, there are stars and stripes, there are tassels, there are pennants. It's just full of color and texture, and it's perfect for the 4th of July and Memorial Day, and even all summer long. It's fantastic. So in your kit, we've included a whole bunch of things that will help make making this kit a lot easier. We've got your rope, string, and ribbon, your wood pieces that will dangle down, and your canvas pennants. And we have paint and a brush, as well as um, calling this our design guide. Kind of shows you the layout for all of the nine pennants you'll be painting. And then there's some graph paper to help you keep straight lines. And we've also got a big sheet of vinyl stickers. Now from home, you will need a pair of scissors to cut your ribbon and your string. And then we, I have paper towels just for cleanup and um, blotting off extra paint. And then of course, scratch paper, butcher paper, whatever you need to keep your, um, your table that you're working on clean. All right, so let's get started with this. There are three different components, so I'll show you how to do each of those, how to prep them, and then we'll put them together at the end. Um, now, the first thing we wanna do is our, our um, tassels. So if you, when we give you this ribbon, it's in one length. It's like two yards long. Um, we include a whole length so that you kind of have more flexibility. If you want to do shorter tassels than what we've got, you can because it's all one length. So we'll have you cut these. Um, if you are going to do the same kind of design that we've done, we have two longer tassels and two shorter tassels. So for the longer tassels, you'll cut, each of these pieces will cut at 22 inches. So I'll measure out to 12, and then I've done that one out to 10. So 22 inches, two lengths of that for each ribbon. And then for the shorter tassels, we're cutting two lengths at 14 inches for all three ribbons. Um, so again, while I'm layering these together, for the two long tassels and the two short tassels that we have, that means you'll be cutting two lengths at 22 inches for all three ribbons and two lengths at 14 inches for all three ribbons. Then you layer them like this with red on the bottom, white in the middle, and blue on the top. Fold it in half, and then you'll set aside um, a little bit of string. We cut five inches of string. And we'll just set these aside and wait for assembly. Okay, next up we've got the wood stars. For these ones, all you have to do, super simple, just paint. Paint both sides of the star. If you want to paint the edge, you can. I kind of like the wood look, but um, whatever you like is great. The simple ones that are going to hang by themselves, we just cut 10 inch long string, thread it through, and then set this aside. And then these ones are kind of doubled, doubled up. Let me even out this string here. Okay, so even, even out the string on the center. And then what we're gonna be doing is threading it through this top star. Um, so the string is gonna go through this way and then another string through that way. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but hopefully that will help. So if my star is in the middle, oops, <laughs> let's try to pick this up together. There we go. The string that's in the back, we're gonna thread through the red star, like that. And the string that was in the front, we're gonna thread to the back of the red star. And it kind of helps to pull the thread that's already there kind of tight and make room in that little hole for the second string. Okay, like that. And now you can kind of Reposition it just a little bit by pulling on the string. So get it dangling where you like it, like that. And then we can set this aside, right here. Okay, next are the pennants. 
This is going to take a little bit of time um, because you're painting nine individual designs on nine individual pennants, but it is really fun. It's the creative part of this. It's, it's kind of the time when you gather all your girlfriends together and you chat while you're painting these and catch up with each other or put in a great movie. Um, just something to make the atmosphere fun while you're doing these. Um, let me gather all my supplies. So I'm going to show you step or, um, specific hints that will help with each of these designs. But first I wanted to give you some basic tips and tricks uh, that will just help overall. Alright, so take a look at your little um, design guide as I'm calling it. And the first tip I want to give you is that we're going to start with your red paint first. You're going to paint all of the red on all of these. So these few that are just blue, you're going to save for very last. And that's because you can see how blue the pigment is on that paint. It's just deeper and darker than the red. So um, by doing all the red first, you just wash your brush once and then you do all the blue instead of going back and forth, back and forth. And then you might get some blue into the red and then that's purple and that's not American at all. So, so stick with us and do all of the red first. We'll use the grid, um, the graph paper to kind of help us out finding center. So you can see these are five inches across and they're seven inches tall. So half of that would be 2.5 if you're centering it this way and 3.5 this way. Um, another hint that really did help me out quite a bit was just folding in half and not creasing, but just pressing it down a little bit to help you see where center is when it's farther away from the lines. For some reason, like I don't have great spatial skills. So that hint helped me out a lot. Um, then, as you're applying the vinyl, the vinyl is super easy to work with because you can reposition it and reuse it um, and move it around. It just makes it a whole lot easier. So once you get it in a place where you like it, you'll press down all of your edges. You don't want any paint seeping through, of course. Um, and then with your paint. This is different than when we're painting wood things and we can like glob some on and then spread it out. Stenciling is much different. So you'll take your brush, get paint on it, and then you may want to blot it off a bit if you've got too much. So blot it off on a paper towel. Um, and then we move in up and down, kind of short tapping motions and circular motions. What you'll do here is be, you're trying to drive the color straight down instead of brushing it across so it doesn't seep under and in a circular motion to kind of drive it right into all of those fibers. And we start light um, and layer on top of each other. So what I found, I had to do maybe a coat or two to get a deeper color, but I kind of liked the look of, of a light coat. It gave it kind of a worn, weathered, um, like older kind of look to it. I kind of like that. So it's really up to you to customize it with your paint. If you like it deeper, just do more thin layers and you'll be great. Um, I need to mention also that we, um, we've included a lot of stars and a lot of stripes, but you'll need to reuse some of those stripes. You'll be fine. Um, but just so you know, you'll reuse a few of them. And then these grommets are kind of a pain um, to paint around. So just paint over them, no problem at all. Like, just get all of the canvas around. The paint that gets on there wipes off really, really easy when it's wet. Um, and if you let it dry and you forget about it, no problem. You just kind of scrape it off and it, it um, flakes off pretty easy too. So I think that's all that I need to tell you. Um, another thing that I did, it's up to you, but I used the graph paper to set my design. And then once I had all the lines where I needed them and I made sure they were straight and square, I pulled them off and then I placed my whole design onto a scratch paper like this so I could stencil on this paper and get this scratch paper dirty rather than my graph paper. It just kind of helped me, so maybe it'll help you too. All right, let's get started with all nine of our fantastic pennants. They're darling. Okay, and these are kind of in progress. So you can see I've already done my red. You do all of your red first. Um, but that's just to kind of show you the progression here. This is design number one right here. And the way that I've laid this out was to start with my stripes. 
I took the half inch stripes and I lined them up right here with the very point of this little V at the bottom of the pennant. I lined it up with the edge of my half inch stripes and then I measured half inch in between each of them all the way up to the how many did I do? One, two, three, four, five. So the fifth one is the top edge of your last red stripe. And then I positioned my star in the center. I just found two and a half, lined up that point, moved things around until it looked nice and square, and then I did all of my red paint. Now that it's dried, I can pull this one off. Well, I mean, you can pull all of them off, but what I'm showing you is we have to reposition this line so that we can paint our blue without it bleeding over. So I just line it up. I have found with these ones where the blue is right up to the edge of the red, I like to overlap the colors just a little bit. I don't care if the blue goes over red just a tiny bit. Um, I would rather have that than a weird random thin line of white because my, my edges didn't butt up right, right next to each other. All right, so I will show you a little bit of this. Oh, if I can get the lid off of my paint. All right, here we go. So I've got my paint really lightly on my brush. I'm gonna dab some of that off. And I just work up and down in kind of circular motion. And I just try to drive that paint right into the fibers of the canvas. Okay, that's what you'll do all over this design. And then we can peel up the star, peel up the stripe, and it will give us a nice clean pennant. All right, let's get the paint out of the way. And I will show you eight more designs. Okay, here is another one where we have the repositioning. So what I've done here, this is design number two. You can see that the line is gonna be just under those grommets and that's what I used as my starting point. Put my half inch sticker right so the edge is just below those grommets. So I'll have a little bit of white, but not, not a whole bunch. And that's kind of, that gave me my starting point. So I've got half an inch of red here and I gave myself another line to, another sticker. You can see these ones are reused. Um, but that gives me the bottom edge of my line. And then with the bottom line, I started from this little cutout. <laughs> I keep thinking of the word apex. I don't know if that's the right word, but this angle right here is where I used my starting point. So I got my sticker, a half inch stripe lined up half inch to paint and then my other half inch um, stripe sticker for the top. And I've also centered a star right in the middle. So now when I remove all of my stickers, I gotta be careful with that star. You can see that it's starting to take shape, right? And to paint the blue, I just line this up maybe overlapping a little bit so I don't have any white showing. And then I go ahead and do all of my blue. That is design number two. And these stickers are so sticky. You can reuse them a whole bunch of times. Okay, number, number two. So number three is a great easy one. It's just the star in the middle of blue. So this is one that you're gonna do right at the very end after you've done all of the red, you can do this blue one. Super simple, just center your star, paint. There's nothing else to say about that one. So we'll move on to number four. That's this one with the stars down the middle. This one is two-toned and you can see I've painted the whole thing. Um, but although it's two-toned, you don't have to reposition anything. It's super easy. I've got a half inch on the inside of each grommet. I use that as my like anchor, my starting point. Sent, I lined those up nice and straight. And then I found center and put my four stars right in a line. And now I can remove them. 
I remove my stripes. And you can see how it's already coming together. Really cute. All right, so now we're at number five. This one is cool because we're using negative space to create a blue star in the center of this pennant. So again, all I did was center it up with 2.5 in the middle and 3.5 up and down. Paint the center of this blue. Again, you'll wait till the end until you've done all of your red first and do this when you're doing your other blues. And we're on to design number six. This one, you can see on the picture, we have these white stars just nestled right up to the grommet. Um, right in that little angle, the grommet kind of fits nice and close. So that's where I started with my two outside stars right next to the grommet. There's very little space, just enough to get a little bit of blue color. Um, you can see right there. And then um, I put my middle star right in between them. Again, there's just a tiny bit of space between where they touch. And this, the cool part about this, is this happened to line up perfectly at my two and a half inches. So I knew I was good. And then I used an inch here, my inch sticker. Um, you can use half inch though, that's fine. All I'm doing here is marking off a horizontal line just to keep my blue separated from the red stripes. And then these um, are an inch long. So you can even see right here along the bottom. I'm painting from uh, zero to one. So my sticker went from one inch to two inch right there, from one to two. And then in the middle, and then I have another stick that goes from three to four right here, and I'm painting from four to five. So when I reposition these, I have to be careful. So I don't want my little stars to move. Okay, when I reposition these, I'll just put it down like that. Um, and grab a sticker. Then I line up my sticker here. Okay, and then I can paint blue. And I'll, use, I'll move this over to the grid again so I make sure I have a nice straight line. Okay. So there you go. That was uh, pennant number six. Next up, I'm going to do this one. This is number seven. Oh, here we go. This is another, uh, another one where we reposition the stickers. And this one uh, was probably the trickiest one to do, so I'll try to, show you, um, try to show you some tips and tricks. With this one, I laid out all my stars first. So to do that, I wanted to define where my blue side was going to be. As you can see, it's just in half. Um, blue on the left, red on the right. So what I did is took my little pennant, got it up on my grid paper, and then I put a holder sticker. So I'm not actually painting yet, I'm just trying to mark off the space at two and a half. And I put it on the right side of two and a half. So everything over here is going to be painted blue. And what I, the reason I did that is just to see how much space my stars needed. So once I got that marked off, I could see how much space I needed for my three. And then my two stars, are there's only half on each one. By the way, isn't that the cutest thing ever? I think this is my favorite design. I love how there's just half of the, each star over there. So cute. All right, so I've got my stars done, and then after that I can take off my holder and then I put it on the other side, if that makes sense. Oh, uh, this here. Okay, um, so I moved my holder to the other side of two and a half, to the left side of two and a half, and then I marked off my broad stripes just one inch apart, painted those so I can take that apart, and then paint place my sticker on the other side to paint blue. I love this one. All right, moving on. This is eight. It's another all blue one. And all we've done here is marked off half inch stripes, starting on, again, the inside of the grommets. So find the inside, line it up, get them nice and straight, and then half inch to the center. This one will be all blue, so paint it last. 
And then last of all is design number nine. This one we've got the half inch stripes again, but we're going horizontally. So we'll start at the top and put our first sticker just under those grommets, right? And then move on. So we've got one, two, three, four, five stripes. Um, and then this one will be the bottom, um, the bottom of the stripes. So once your red is done, you can see I've already done this one, but you'll remove the stripe stickers and then we've got another blue star using the negative space. We've lined it up just right here in line with the red stripe. Paint that one blue and then you're good to go. So here, the banner is huge of course so I can't show you the whole thing. But here's how it will start looking. Okay, for the tassels, here's my little tassel that I haven't finished yet. Remember we lined them up, stacked them up, and then you loop it onto your cord Your little rope right there. Okay, and we have tried tying, we tried slip knots. The way that it hangs best is just by tying it with a string. So you can see we loop it over the rope and then use your um, five inches of twine, of string, and you just tie it together in the back. That's really all that you do for these tassels. So you can see on our finished one, right here we just tied off the back and then cut the extra off. Then don't forget to finish off your tassel by cutting cute little edges on the ribbon. For your pennants, you just string them on and then your stars, all you do is tie a knot from the string and let them just dangle down like that. That's all there is to it with this one. Cool. So now it's ready. To, it's ready to go up for decorating for 4th of July, Memorial Day, all summer long. This is beautiful outdoors, so it would look fantastic um, on your front porch or um, like entertaining wise on your deck. Just make sure that you keep it out of rain and out of sprinklers because it's not great wet. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date with all of the latest and greatest from Apostrophe S. Also follow us on Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram, and you can link over to our site to see tons more products. They're fantastic, they're easy to do, and they're all-inclusive, so check out our website, and also at our website you can schedule a party too. Thanks for watching our Star Spangled Banner from Apostrophe S. Make it yours.